Well, it has been quite a while since we recorded anything here. And the reason for that is Minecraft 1.8 changed the world generation stuff again. And even the sea level changed, so Mackie and I decided to kind of hold off on that. And then we realized we really, either we could start a new world, which we tried doing, but then we really wanted to come back to this place. So Mackie used MC Edit to smooth out the damaged areas, delete the chunks that we didn't need, and we're back. Uh. Things are a bit different. And there are a lot more people playing now. We got QNL, we got Alpha Shard, we got Jinxie. We got, of course, we still, still got Phil with his filament. Uh, and a guy called Lance might even be joining us soon as well. So lots of people playing. Last time I recorded, I had 43 diamonds. I'm down to 13. So that's a lot of stuff's been done. And let's just explore a little bit. First of all, we have quick drops now. Oh, the filaments still out there. We don't have the dirt bridge anymore, that's gone. We've got this nice wood one out there, so that's nice. And his dirt castle is gone as well, which is also nice. Um, we've got these quick drops. We're going to go down one level to storage. Storage area is completely changed. I remember last time we were here, I said we were going to do this, and it's done. See, we've got a very large storage area with... Most blocks, I, I want to get silk touch so I can do things like coal blocks there. But most of the blocks are represented by what they actually are. So it's, it's a pretty big storage area and we can actually double the entire storage in here. And any time we want just by adding more chests on the layer above. So that'd be nice. We also have a um, centralized staircase now. So this is where the old storage room was. It's, it's pretty bare right now. It's going to become a big library. In the middle of this one here, tucked away, is our enchanting table with the correct design to get maximum enchanting. So you get very large enchanting things. And there are plenty of videos out there on how all this works, so I'm not going to go into details here. The next thing that's changed down here in a big way, the mushroom farm, automated mushroom machine is gone, completely gone, because it doesn't work anymore. Uh, if there are two mushrooms next to each other, they don't grow, they glitch out. So the whole machine doesn't work. So I replaced it with this big, so uh, fully hydrated, um, cannot be untilled farm, which gives us 96 wheat, which is 32 bread every single time. And so we don't really have a food shortage problem at all anymore. And uh, you hit this little lever down here and the entire thing harvests, um, which I'm not gonna do, because it's not all grown yet. Tucked away here is a little water fount, water spring, and that's where we've got all our buckets. Put this bucket back, I guess. So that's what's changed down here. Also, the monster trap machine. We've modified it so that we can redirect monsters down here. They won't die. They'll get stuck in here. We found in multiplayer, if they're in water, they'll glitch and jump up through the ceiling. So we put this pressure plate here so they'll stop and not, not jump up crazy. But you can't hit them with the sword. You can't hit them in the legs in multiplayer. So we have to hit them with arrows. So we've got the crusher to kill them. What we do is we crush them until they're really damaged and then use one arrow on them. And that's how we're farming XP. So that's, that's pretty neat. That's the opposite direction there. We've reserved this area over here for pumpkins and melons and possibly a baconator. If we get silk touch, we'll get a monster spawner and make a baconator as well. So that's what's going to go into this area here eventually. So that's all the inside changes. Um, what we also have on the outside though are quite a few changes. First off we have a slime gun. So dripping down here is where the slimes fall out. You may have seen one of these on Doc M's video. Uh, it's where I learned how to do it. Let's go down to the actual slime farm and check it out. And on the way we'll look at something else as well. Yeah, Etho kind of went crazy and did a lighting system for his mob spawner area, which I thought was really cool. So, um, I did it too, except my design turned out to be a lot easier because my pads are 5x5, five five, not 6x6. Six six. And I'll show you why it's easier in a second. I'm going up, have a look at that circuitry. So, one lava source block covers two pads. So, I only needed. eight of them instead of however many he had. He had a lot. He had a lot of them. And the spawn rate's really good when there aren't multiple people playing the game. 
farm. When there are multiple people playing the game, they spawn, must have spawn all over the world. So they don't really focus in here very much. Okay, moving down one more. We've got our slime spawn. Slimes are the most glitchiest mob in the game. I, the, the distance from where I'll be standing a second to the roof is pretty big. And they actually jump all the way up and through the roof, through the stone. It's crazy. Okay, so this is above level 16. So they don't spawn up here. So they all spawn down in there. The spawn rate's very slow. There's one. Watch this. I bet you he'll start glitching in a second. He'll manage to jump all the way up here or something. See? Watch this. Look at that. That's nuts. Anyway. Um, he'll actually find a way to get up here eventually. But, yeah. 3x3 three three water canal down here to a 3x3x3 three by three by three drowning trap. So, a big slime's getting there and they drown to 2x2. Two two. They can't get out, so they drown to 1x1. One one. And the 1x1s one can get out a little hole and they go up the slider here. And the ladder goes up to that pistol we saw. So that was a big effort. We actually ran into a 1.9 pre-3 bug where chunks didn't save and we lost the thing like three times. So rebuilding that over and over again was not fun. Um, 1.9 pre-4 came out and that bug seems to have disappeared. Although it is still listed on the SMP section of the Minecraft wiki, which is concerning. But we haven't run into it once. Um, so we've been playing 1.9 pre-4. I haven't really done anything with brewing yet, but we'll get there, I guess. All right, now let's head outside again. Have we got Phil on? Hey, Phil. Oh, he's not actually on the Skype call. I'll put him on the Skype call. I would venture out to join you, but uh, I'm like. There's monsters outside of my house. Well, I'll eventually <laughs> get over there so people can see it. Okay, first stop here is the portal. Where I have kind of decorated it a bit. And we've got some nice lapis circling it, so it looks kind of cool. And I'm going to do the same lapis on the actual nether side so that people know where the prime portal is. But over here, I made a sphinx. Way to call me while I'm in the water and mobs are chasing me. <laughs> <That was laughs> hey Phil, I'm recording for YouTube right now, so you can cross -link, link this on your channel and I can get lots of viewers. Yeah, that's how it works. Right? Oh, good times. So yeah. this is my Sphinx. Like that. He's got like four I have legs. a lot more requests for that anyway. Yeah, right. <laughs> Do you get Minecraft requests? Like a tail? Yeah. <laughs> well, I get all kinds of requests. Okay. And he needs so two legs. Time to do all of them. Oh, if I, I could, I would. Thanks, Phil. You made me fall in the water too. <laughs> ah, damn it. I was just about to get out. My mere present destroys. So, this is a trick for those who don't know. You can get up onto half slabs that are above the water if you do it backwards. If you do it backwards. Ah, man. I'm losing control right now. There Hold we on. go. Uh, okay. Put lava in the mouth because it looks cool and, gl and glowstone in the eyes, which doesn't look so great, but whatever. Then we've got a big tunnel down here, which goes off to one of the new players' places. Uh, which we're not going to look at in this episode, but it's a fair ways away. And those are all the new features that we have. So quite a lot changed since, since the last video. Okay, we're going to go over and check out Alpha Shard and QNL's place. And... Then we'll call it an episode, or possibly two, depending on how long this records for. So are you crossing the bridge there? What? Where are you? I think I see you. I'm in the water. Why would you Probably want to be in the water? Off your like right. That? Okay, we're actually going to go to Q and L's place and then circle around to Scott's. We won't use okay. the tunnel. Uh, Phil decided it'd be fun to use the new quote-unquote feature in 1.9 pre-4, where you can't dump out water from buckets. It stacks on top. Very annoying. <laughs> uh, so he made he yeah. made my kind of gazebo area into a little fountain, which is too bad. Might keep it that way. Uh, I wondered if you'd figure out that was me. Probably though. Yes. <laughs> oh, it's glossy. So that property of water is a bit annoying for and a lot a of the things outside. outside. And chunks not loading. And some kind of bridge here, I think. Come on, chunks load. 
trying to record videos here. I don't need your notch holes. And here's QNL's place. It's she's the newest player to the game, and is in fact a complete novice when it comes to playing FPSs in general. So <laughs> she's doing pretty well. I'm gonna ignore she this guy panicked this the other day when I just like strafed in front of her while she was at the crafting table. It was a pretty good time. <laughs> okay, we got a giant skeleton there and a creeper outside, and they just happen to be where I want to go. So I'm gonna kill them. Oh, I see. Hey. Still under construction. Still under construction. I assume audio is being recorded. If not, this entire thing's been a waste of time. <laughs> yeah, it's well. We've, hey. we've all been there at least once. So. <laughs> so, running across here, we'll get to Scott's first house, which he abandoned to mine crap loads of obsidian for himself. <laughs> <laughs> so this is actually at the this is end of reasoning for that the, that's more interesting the leaf tunnel the leaf <laughs> tunnel now extends out further um, down here and this is going to be my like uh, rail down here Scott's ex extending this thing out so it's five wide which will look good uh, so this was his old base and over there in the distance which we're not going to actually go to you can see at the top it's an obsidian house surrounded by bricks. That's Scott's new place. And I believe he had a mushroom farm out here. Yep. So there we go. I think that catches you up with everything that's changed since the last time I put out a YouTube video on this server. I think one of the biggest things that's changed is just the sheer number of people playing. Uh, makes a big difference. Yes. Big difference. So I'm Good gonna times. head back. I really need to find more diamond. I've used up so much diamond helping other people build things. And digging out slime farms and all kinds of stuff really, so it's fun. Uh, and you know, I've, I've enchanted. This is a, um, I'm breaking two diamond pickaxe, which isn't too bad at all. Uh, it'll help me build a lot more. Yeah, you know how long it took me to do this leaf tunnel thing, right? This is before leaves didn't they you needed wood near them so otherwise they disappear now you don't need that so it would have been a lot easier to build it with that change but anyway scott suggested he wanted to replace all the leaves with glass i was like are you kidding me <laughs> 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 gotta be kidding me man scott likes his glass i like Although my glass and again you did make that ridiculous glass structure a few uh versions ago yes so yes i, I guess we all have that phase so weird, i haven't right? been in that phase yet yeah, I figured out why why it looks so weird. But, uh, so this is the brewing area here. We only have one brewing thing, but we're going to need a lot because brewing is slow. Um, but none of us know how to brew stuff yet. Oh, and we've got a um, an angle-shaped water spring here, so you can just grab water straight here. It's, cauldrons are a complete waste of time. Unless those cauldrons can be changed to have like a hundred or so beaker refills from them, there's no reason to use them at all. So that's that. I uh, hope you enjoyed the world tour. Uh, we're looking into different ways to go up now that we have quick drop down. Uh, if you've got any suggestions about that, they, you know, scissor elevators and stuff, they're kind of bulky and it's its like, it's literally six blocks up between levels. So it's not, it seems like overkill to do that. We tried using the motivator and we don't quite understand how to do that properly yet. So we'll look into it some more. How much? faster is that stuff than ladders I, guess oh, that's wait, I mean we, we actually got a working boat boat evader up and running and it's instant you just hold down right and you just go zip straight up yeah but okay. keeping the boats in place not sure what we're meant to do to make that happen right it's weird very weird yeah so anyway that's uh that's that for this episode i'll catch you guys next time <laughs>